a little bit chilly. Zero degrees. There is ice on things. But today I wanted to talk about cutting versus bulking. Which one should you do first? Cut or should you bulk? Cut is if you predominantly want to lose some fat whilst preserving muscle. And bulk is whether you want to gain muscle and minimize the amount of fat that you gain. Two very desirable, both of my hands are coming up. Actually, I read a comment the other day that was like, you just can't control your hands, can you? And the truth is, no. No, I cannot control my hands. Both of those things are very desirable. Should you predominantly put on muscle first or should you lose fat first? Like, which one should you do? And I think this area is quite subjective. So what I want to give you is more like the general principles and the ideas that's gonna make it more sustainable for you and it's gonna make it enjoyable. So I think those are like the important things. So long as you're maintaining your health, so your hormones are all good and you're not putting yourself at any risk of cardiovascular disease by putting on too much fat and you're also not putting yourself at risk of under fueling yourself to the point where you become ill because you've impaired your immune system and other such things that come about with lack of nutrition but yeah we'll talk about which approach you should do first so if you like this video make sure to give me a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and we'll get straight into talking which one you should do first. Cut and bulk are basically like terms that have predominantly come from bodybuilding. I don't really do any bodybuilding, but it's kind of terms that are quite familiar with people and they're catchy. Like cut and bulk, they're catchy words. Um, so I think that's why most people kind of understand them. They are just words to kind of highlight a certain approach. Like should you predominantly put on muscle first or should you lose fat first? Like which one should you do? So when I started, I was kind of underweight, but I wanted to build some muscle. So I actually started personally with a bulk um, and I started building muscle and I started eating more so that I could sustain my training and help me increase my muscle size. And the thing is like my BMI wasn't even that low. My BMI was 20, but for me, my BMI being 20 is still very low like it's not where I'm healthy it's not where my body wants to be it's not where I function best so um, I definitely needed to put on weight and I knew that so I needed to increase my muscle mass I needed to bulk I needed to build some muscle <laughs> to be honest I feel like my biceps are getting a little bit small I don't really train my biceps anymore oh. And then I went through a series of cutting and I think the importance is just doing it in a way that is healthy and sustainable and ha has a much more long term approach. I've done it where I've gone like way too extreme either way and then my body just ends up in a big like confusion. Give the body a little bit of time so that it's like okay we're building some muscle, I can do that, let's build some muscle and then it works with you rather than just being like no, you're doing your own thing here. Like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna step out. And sometimes, sometimes I'm gonna work against you. So I think it's more about like what your starting point is. If you're severely underweight, then I would recommend seeing a specialist to help you get on track and sort your nutrition out. There might be like an underlying issue that might need addressing first before you go out, go about with any changes like this. But if you are a little bit underweight um, and your body fat percentage is low, um, then I would recommend kind of starting a more bulk approach. So starting to increase your muscle mass, doing some hypertrophy training, and that's gonna help you build muscle. And on top of that, in order to help you build muscle, you're gonna be eating a calorie surplus. Um, again, I don't think it's necessary to go like massively overboard, and I think it's still important to have like a balanced diet, so a balanced, varied diet where you're getting in your carbohydrates, your proteins, your essential fats, um, and your micronutrients. And there are studies that suggest that protein pulsing, having something like 0.25 grams per kilogram of body weight five to six times a day can really help with muscle recovery and making sure that all of that protein is getting assimilated. Because you'll be in a surplus, you will be gaining a little bit of fat and that's just inevitable. It's more about looking at things in the long term. Like if you wanna build muscle, you're gonna to have to sacrifice something for a little bit. Um, so even though you might not like how you look for a little bit of time, in the long run, you will have built that muscle. And even I'd say if you're like in a normal uh, weight category and you've got a normal body fat percentage, I would also encourage you to start putting on muscle. And if you're really not sure about how many calories you need, I always feel like macronutrient calculator is a great way to start because you kind of input all of your details, all of your training details, what your weight is, your height, your age, and things like that. And it will tell you like how much you need. So if you're underweight or you're kind of a normal weight, 
I would suggest putting on some muscle. It also means that if you're in that state and you've built some muscle, then when you're cutting it's a lot easier because your training will be more intense because you've got more muscle. So every time you do physical activity, the energy expenditure will go up. It also means that you'll be increasing your basal metabolic rate. So actually, as you build muscle, your metabolism increases. Um, so, it, But if you did the inverse and you went into cutting straight away, then you won't have that muscle to kind of increase your basal metabolic rate or to increase the energy expenditure during training sessions. So I think it is important to build muscle first rather than cut first. Because the risk with cutting first, if you don't have that much fat to lose, is that you will lower your metabolism and it will just, it will feel, it will feel tough. Cutting if you're underweight, I wouldn't really recommend. If you have a BMI of 18 or lower, I wouldn't recommend cutting. If you have any issues around eating, um, like any disordered eating or negative emotions around food, then again, I wouldn't recommend cutting. If you are overweight, then I would recommend cutting first, purely because you're reducing your risk of any kind of cardiovascular disease and any other diseases that are associated with having a very high body fat percentage. But again, I would cut in a sense manner so don't restrict your calories more than 10% but then predominantly focusing on physical activity and doing like smart training so plyometric training where you're being really really explosive it's about doing that it's about also doing some resistance training so that you maintain your muscle because it's all good like losing a little bit of fat but you also want to try and preserve as much muscle as possible um, so that you don't completely lower your metabolism. Having more tissue that is metabolically active um, can really help in just kind of also helping to burn calories post-workout. So I think it is really important to do weight training even when you're in a cut. Give it a little bit of time. Like our bodies do take about four to five weeks to really see any kind of differences. Um, and even those differences will be quite small. So very much see it as like a long-term thing and for me I always think that if it's long-term it's gonna last a lot longer your results are gonna last a lot longer the phases of cutting and bulking can change like some people do them for two to three months some people will do them for a lot longer like six months or sometimes even longer if they're bulking and they just really they don't care about whether or not they can see their abs they just want to keep gaining muscle then they'll bulk for even longer but typically you would bulk for a couple of months three four months maybe then you would cut then you can actually see the muscle that you've built you can kind of reassess and be like okay I need to work more on this bulk again cut again see whether you're happy with it and then it's kind of one of those things where you just it's like you're chiseling something then you add the mold back in then you chisel it away again and you mold it back in and you're like okay now I think I've achieved something and now I can just kind of maintain that you've built a good amount of muscle and a sustainable amount of fat then um, it's a good place where you can start to maintain. And I feel like that's where I'm at now. Like I've got to this stage where I've built the muscle that I wanna build. I'm not that interested in building more muscle. Um, of course I like to get stronger, but typically that doesn't really impact muscle size. That's more like adapting the nervous system. highlighted which one would be better for you so it really depends on your starting point it's very very dependent on your situation or what you feel comfortable with and everything is your choice you guys get to choose as long as you're having like a balanced varied diet you're getting all of your nutrients in you're kind of you're not cutting anything out drastically and you're being sensible about it then you'll see the results. If you're interested in training for hypertrophy, then I have some videos from last year that I did. I also have um, a cut guide if you're interested in cutting and you need like a more programmed approach. I hope that covers everything. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. I'm actually in Kenya as we speak, but I filmed this in the UK. But the next video will be in Kenya. So I'll see you guys in Kenya. Bye.